protocol observed. Before I get started, I'd like to begin uh, by thanking our host, Her Excellency Samia Sulu Hassan, for the... I'd also like to congratulate the incoming chairperson, His Excellency President of the Community. The Republic of Rwanda is committed to supporting and continuing of the, Eastern, uh, the East African Community Chairmanship. Rwanda. I believe uh, you don't have the translator for everybody, so I try to speak in my bad English. And I hope you will understand me. On behalf of President Tisiket of DRC, Your Excellencies, now I invite the outgoing chair of the East African Community. ESC Affairs, Republic of Burundi, and Chairperson of the ESC Council of Ministers, Lawrence, President of the Republic of Angola, Honorable Dr. Peter Mutuku Matuki, Secretary General of the ESC Committee, and other permanent secretaries from the partner states, East African Business Council, and other representatives from the business community and the private sector, covering through climate change adaptation and food security for improved livelihoods. The region can continue to adapt to the effects from climate change. Tet have just completed the closed session and we will now invite the Secretary General of Communique, which is uh, an outcome. Mr. Chairman, allow me to congratulate the Federal Republic of Somalia for joining the East African community. We now have an extra 15 million people, or thereabout, who will become members of this great family. As I congratulate Somalia, let me congratulate the other seven members of this great organization. The East African community today is the most integrated, the most progressive economic community in our continent. It speaks volumes as to our resolve as East Africans to build a common market, to build on our strengths, and to focus on a common destiny as the people of this region, because by so doing, we will have the opportunity to unlock the tremendous potential and the myriad of opportunities that we have as a region. I am a very proud East African. We are meeting in this summit in the context of a fairly difficult situation globally occasioned by the COVID-19 pandemic, the conflict in Europe, the conflicts in our region, and the difficult times occasioned by climate change, both drought and the current situation of El Nino that we have across our region. Even in that context that looks a bit gloomy, we must not lose sight of the great opportunity that exists in our region and the huge potential that the seven, now eight countries of the East African community have as we face the future. Today, in our meeting, we've had a conversation about how we need to hasten the process of political integration in our region. When the Committee of Experts visited Kenya, they had a wonderful experience, and uh, they are sitting here, they will tell you. Many people in Kenya told them that they were delaying with the integration of East Africa. It is my considered view that as we focus into the next one year, 
that we will conclude the consultations so that we can further our integration because I am solidly sold to the idea that it is East Africa that is eventually going to unite the continent of Africa. <laughs> the people of Kenya and government of Kenya is 100% behind the East African community and to wish well our friends in the DRC as they go into the elections, you have our prayers, you have our support as you nurture your democracy, even as we agreed this morning on the subject of Eastern DRC and the security challenges there, that as East Africans, we will not walk away from the people of Eastern DRC. We are going to agree on a methodology with our brothers from SADC on how that whole situation is going to be handled in a manner that respects the wishes of the people of DRC and in a manner that makes sure that there is no vacuum and the situation in DRC is handled in the best way possible to the benefit of the people of DRC and to the benefit of the people of East African community because they are our brothers and sisters and they deserve our solidarity. We are going to cope as a region having packaged our investment opportunities, investment in renewable energy, investment in Africa's green industrialization initiative, so that we can use the renewable resources we have, the huge resources we have around agriculture and uncultivated land, the resources we have in minerals, and of course, our human capital, the young people of our region, presenting them as opportunity for the world to invest and so that we can unlock the potential in our region, create jobs, create prosperity, grow our economy, and eliminate poverty from our region. It is my position ladies and gentlemen, that as we congratulate President Salva Kiir as he takes over as the chair of our region, that you have our support, you have the support of Kenya, and you have the support of East Africans as we consolidate our region into one integrated economic block with one destiny. If you want, you want to be prosperous, you better understand and fight for the integration of the African market. A country like Uganda wasted a lot of time fighting and so on. But when we settled down, we started producing. And very soon we realized that the internal market was not enough for milk, for, for maize, for sugar, for what? So that is the first reason, prosperity. Second reason is strategic security. How can you be secure in the world? I don't have time to go into that, but that is the second reason. The third reason is Undugu. By the way, these people you are talking about, the ones we are saying you, you unite for the sake of their prosperity, and for the sake of strategic security. Are they similar or linked? If you study carefully, you will see that all these people are linked, the Bantus, the Nilotics. Then we here in East Africa, we are lucky we have the Swahili language. In the European Union, they have a problem. What language do they speak? They speak Francais, they speak German, they speak Spaniola, but what language do they speak? Italiano. But here we have no problem. We, we can all speak Swahili and there will be no controversy. So therefore, it is easy for us to, to unite. This is the reason why some of us, under, under the leadership of Marimu, for the last more than 60 years, have been struggling for the East African integration. Ikumbo kwe kwamba kama jumuiya 
tuna mengi tunayofanana kuliko tunayo tofautiana hivyo kamwe tusiruhusi tofauti ndogo ndogo kutia do uhusiano na ushirikiano wetu uliolelewa na kuenziwa na wasisi wetu ni jukumu letu kuhakikisha tunaleta mtangamano huu mtangamano huu hadi kufikia um, kwa ajili ya vizazi vyetu vijavyo au vya baadaye kipekee kabisa ni kupongeza mheshimiwa Salva Kir Mayedit Rais wa Jamhuri ya Sudan Kusini kwa kukabidhiwa wenye kiti wa jumuiya yetu na kuahidi ushirikiano wangu binafsi serikali ya Tanzania na watanzania kwa ujumla na nikutakie 